What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back with Emily DeMolly's January 2021 releases. I have the full eight piece set and two limited editions that are also gonna be releasing alongside these. So let's dive right into the swatches. First up is Ancient Dwellings. This is a pale chocolate brown crelly with copper gold to green iridescent flakes. Price on this will be 10 US and 12 Australian. So we have a lovely super crelly formula with this. There's quite a bit of a squish factor to it. And I'm gonna suggest between two and three coats for full opacity. I personally found that two coats was perfect on it and it gave me a lot of that flaky payoff. So it's really gonna depend on how you polish and how you apply. Now, I feel like the base color to this one is very much leaning as a, a neutral sort of lighter chocolate brown on myself, but the flakes take over everything and just kind of warm up the overall finish. So I think this is gonna be one of those browns that's pretty universally flattering, especially if you're a flaky lover. Now this does dry down quite flat, so you're gonna to wanna to use a good glossy top coat, which once again, uh, you are seeing on the full hand shot. And next is It Never Ends. This is a dark purple jelly base with pink to orange to green iridescent flakes. On release, this will be 10 US and 12 Australian. So this has a super jelly formula to it. Very satisfying. Uh, true to a lot of Emily Damali's jelly formulas, it does apply quite opaque on the nail. I think two light to normal coats are gonna be perfect for this one. It's got a wonderful, satisfying feel to those brush strokes. And honestly, I don't see many needing to go past a second coat, but again, depending on your preference, but I think two coats is pretty perfect on this. This is packed full of those lovely iridescent flakes. In indoor lighting, they do take on this more reddish sort of scheme with them. At very extreme angles, you'll see just a touch of that green uh, iridescent sort of shift coming out to play. Now to get this one to have that nice juicy jelly appearance that we all love, I'm gonna suggest going in with a very glossy top coat to seal it off and you'll be good to go. And next is Hold Me Close. This is a periwinkle jelly base with silver holographic micro glitters and pink to orange to green shifting Aurora shimmer. On release, this one will be 12 US and 14 Australian. I love glitters and I always, always rave about them. And I really love when uh, we get polishes like this for our EDM releases. And I love it, love it, love it. This is my second pick of the set. Uh, I think the first pick you'll see in just a moment. And obviously I think that will make more sense, um, but lots of sparkly goodness here. Lots of shimmer action happening too. And indoor lights, you see it like what you see on the video. It's gonna have this nice pinky sort of almost fuchsia type lean to it. And at angles, you'll easily see this lovely orangey and greenish sort of color roll. Now this is uh, a bit thirsty for top coat. So you're gonna wanna use uh, a really good glossy top coat and or a glitter smoothing top coat for it. Just to kind of really give off that strong, glittery, glossy sort of sparkle. And next is Steadfast. This is a pink jelly base with gold to blue shifting foil type shimmer. On release, this will be nine US or 11 Australian. I was super excited to see that we had two new foils for this release. And I feel like it's been a hot minute since we've seen one from Emily Damali, and we've got two of them. So I would agree with the official description that the base color is a true type of pink. I feel like it does have just the slightest bit of that pinky coral sort of undertone. Uh, it could be the shimmer, but to my eyes, that's what I'm seeing in person. And the shimmer is this beautiful, strong, goldish sort of effect. It is so strong. This is a beautiful, flattering type of pink, and I love the shimmer with it. It's just awesome. I think this is gonna be flattering on just about any skin tone. It's so lovely. Now, if you are new to foil type polishes like this one, they do dry down very flat. So you're gonna wanna use a glossy top coat, though they do look fantastic matted. And next is Raise the Stakes. This is a dark blurple jelly base with assorted iridescent flakes in blue, red, and green. Price on this will be 10 US or 12 Australian. 
So this is very, very jelly-like, and I think it's got quite a bit of a squish factor. So for opacity, I think two to three coats is gonna be perfect. This is a true rich sort of grape shade, really medium, but as you build it up, it definitely vamps out very nicely and takes on more dark appearance. If you enjoy her mosaic type of flaky polishes, you'll definitely wanna pick this one up. Uh, really lovely. And when you go in for your second or third, depending on how you polish, it just packs a punch with the flakes. I love this one. It reminds me of Card Trick. If you liked that polish, it had more of this uh, blurpily sort of blue leaning base, but this one is uh, very much in that category in terms of flaky finish, but it, this is more like straight up purple action with it. So if you liked that one, you're definitely gonna love this one. Again, I'm gonna suggest finishing off with a glossy top coat just to smooth everything out. And next we have Tech Phrases. This is a teal base with a strong blue shimmer that shifts through purple. Price on this will be 11 US or 13 Australian. This is very uh, clearly, especially for those of you following uh, my channel for a little while, uh, this is clearly my favorite of the releases. It's so stinking pretty, a beautiful, vibrant, but very jewel toned sort of blue. Now I want to note that the shifty effect to this, in my opinion, is on the subtle side at very extreme angles and it's really gonna depend on your lighting you'll see just a touch of that purple color roll with it. But overall, it's just beautiful sapphire blue action happening. Now, this is quite packed full of uh, that shimmery goodness. So I'm going to suggest going in light on your brush strokes. Try, try to prevent overworking it so you will minimize any potential brush strokes. And the payoff is so lovely. Very pretty. Um, I think it's that multi-chrome kind of shimmer, but also that teal base. It's uh, just this bluish sort of lovely polish and uh, just strong, strong blue action. And next we have Ugly Mood. This is a pale rose gold jelly base with blue to purple to pink shifting foil type shimmer flakes. On release, this will be 11 US or 13 Australian. So this is the second foil in the release. It's lovely. I really like this color too. Very flattering types of shades. This one played up against my skin tone in my opinion, just a bit more on that neutral sort of effect, but these types of finishes, the foil shimmer just takes over everything. So indoor lighting and kind of dulled, dimmed lighting, it has this very strong, uh, luminous sort of effect with it. Brighter lights, you'll see this more aqua sort of shade with it, but at angles, it takes on this gorgeous purpley and pinky sort of luminescent appearance. Really wonderful. And again, these dry down quite flat. So uh, I do think they look fantastic mattified, but I personally love them with a glossy top coat. Um, I just personally think it kind of helps with that shifty factor with the, sh with the shimmer. And next we have Win Me Over. This is a pale cornflower blue curly base with copper to gold to green iridescent flakes. On release, this will be 10 US or 12 Australian. So this has uh, what I would consider a very true sort of soft curly like feel on application. It's got a bit of a squish factor and it does start off just a touch sheer. Now for opacity with it, I'm gonna suggest between two and three coats. I personally took it up to a third coat as I was polishing pretty normal for what I consider on my own personal style. And I thought it plumped it out the best and it really helped to get that beautiful powdery sort of light blue base to pop very well. So this is really gonna depend on uh, not just your application style, but also your uh, length of your free edge, I think. Now this does dry down flat. So again, I'm gonna suggest a good glossy top coat, which once again, you are seeing on my full hand shot. Uh, really lovely flaky action. I think this would have to be my third pick in the set. I really loved it. And uh, not being completely blue biased, but uh, the blues in this set are just so stinking pretty. And next we have limited edition 256. This is a reddish brown base with blue to purple shifting shimmer, blue iridescent glitters and white glitters. On release, this will be nine US and 11 Australian. So if you are new to Emily Damali or Indies in general, Typically when we see limited editions from this brand in her releases, there's usually several more. So these are two in the set that will be coming out. 
and uh, they're not part of the normal releases per se, but typically they're limited in uh, what she's got for her bottles. So 256 has quite a crelly sort of formula. It's on the somewhat heavier side. So I'm going to suggest going in very light on your coats and just allowing it to slowly build up. I do think the video, at least on my monitors here, is looking pretty color accurate to what I'm seeing in person. I would describe this type of red as being a very brick brown sort of red. And uh, it's got just a bit of that dusky feel with it. Now this does dry down quite flat and a touch textured, so you're going to want to use a glitter smoothing top coat and a good glossy top coat. And finally, we have limited edition 259. This is a purple to bronze multi-chrome with silver holographic flakes. On release, this will be 10 US and 12 Australian. So I feel like it's also been a hot minute since we've seen some multi-chrome action from Emily Damali, and uh, this is very lovely. Now in person, I feel like the multi-chrome effect with this is a touch more on the subtle side. And I would almost classify this as being a duochrome. So meaning that you'll dominantly see two colors in the color roll. Um, I personally mostly saw a purple to bronze shift. There's a touch of a almost reddish cast depending on your lighting. But for the most part in indoor lighting, it's going to be this lovely vampy sort of purple. And at extreme angles that bronze comes out to play, especially if you're in shaded lighting. Now this applies very creamy and smooth on the nail, very easy to build it up. I think most are gonna be perfectly fine at two coats and it does dry down flat. So again, you are seeing a glossy top coat on my full hand shot. Now the limited editions and the January 2021 releases will go live January the 20th at 10 a.m. Australian time on the Australian website and for US and international that will release January 19th at 6 p.m. Eastern time. I will link both the Australian and the U.S. and international site below if you want to check that out and the Facebook fan group if you're not in there and you want to see additional swatches. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.